there, this is Rustic David. Welcome to my workshop. I make rustic furniture and recycled wood furniture and I'm going to show you how you can do it too using simple tools. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make a bridle joint. This is a very simple joint, you can do most of the work with a saw and a little bit of chisel work. Before I cut the wood I just want to explain a little bit about hand saws. Now people got very nice brass backed tenon saws and if you just want to start working now with what you've got it's probably not one of these. You might have a basic back saw like this. It's fine, you can use it. Or you might have something even more simple. It's a very cheap Chinese. See, this is a bit rusty. I'm actually going to use this saw just to show you you can do it with whatever you've got. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut this 90 degrees. I'm not going to explain it too much. I've explained it in other videos. Now I'm going to sight down the line. Now careful at the end of the cut. There we are and we're through. So now I've got two pieces of wood and I want to join it here in the corner. So the first thing I want to do is mark the joint out. And I can just mark a line like this. You can use your finger as a guide. You can mark it across like this. Okay, so now I know that this joint's going to come together like this in the corner. Just continue those lines like this. Now I'm going to lie one piece across the other piece and just make a little mark at the width of the material. Use an angle. And I'm going to do the same on this piece. So I'm going to make this one the tenon, I'm going to make this one the mortise. So the first thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to saw down these two lines. To the shoulder line. Now all that's left to do is remove these cheeks. Okay, so now here's my tenon. Now we're going to cut out the mortise part. Okay, so now what remains is to take out this waste material. I'm going to start close to the line but not on the line and I'm going to cut in. Oh. You can put glue on all the surfaces and to clamp it together, you can add a clamp in this direction and those two large surface areas create a big strong space for gluing up. Four of these and you've got a door, a frame. Thanks for watching, I hope it helped some. Uh, I'd be happy to see your comments below. If you like it, please like and subscribe. And I've got some words right now, so I don't know what to say. <laughs>